So what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Chaotic. And a beautiful... What? You know, the people know you by Prison Bay. Mm-hmm. Pressure Prison Bay? How you wanna... I, I go by Pressure, but everybody know me by Prison Bay. Everybody right know her by Prison Bay. Y'all know her. The viral... <laughs> The viral sensation. She just came home from the feds. So these are some of the pictures that y'all probably seen of Pigeon Bay on the internet that went super viral of her just being the finest girl in the prison. Well, this started because that first one was hard. Which one? The first question. No, we got to start that over because I want to ask. start that over. This shit is raw. I no, but I want to ask that. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is Prison Bay, y'all. Whoa. Golly, okay, so, no, but I, so, we, we planned 21 questions, and the first question I asked her was, if, if she was dealing with somebody, and they fell off, how long would she continue to deal with them before they had to come back up, or she'd leave them, and she said, if she was dealing with somebody, and they fell off in a relationship, it wouldn't take them long to bounce back, because she said she had had a back. She'll, she'll bring them back up, like right then and there. You ain't even falling. Because if you fall, I'm going to catch you, babe. Okay. So you're going to catch them. You're going to catch them. Mm -hmm. Like a basketball or a football? Like a football. Ooh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Whoa, nigga, what you? Whoa. Ooh, wee, you sound special. <laughs> you kill me. All right, now ask me, ask me, ask me the question. So, if you out... With, with all your boys or whatever and all your boys got bitches you got a bitch and they cheating what you gonna do I finna, first of all I'm one of them homeboys that's gonna blow up their spot oh you telling I'm telling the girls <laughs> that they with like listen don't let none of my homeboys fool you all these boys got girls because I believe this one thing I believe in I believe that if you got a woman if you got a girl Every it, it, whoever side piece, if you're, it's a fling, whatever they need to like, I'm in a relationship. Mm -hmm. I'm because I'm I'm so proud when I'm in a relationship with my woman. Everybody don't know. I just cannot see it. Like I'm, I I'm telling see it. you, I can industry. call. I, I can call. See it. I can call one of my exes, mm. and they'll tell you why she your ex. Because she just wasn't mentally stable enough for uh, the function probably in the relationship. Like what? She had personal mental issues. She she had, like, it was a lot. Me and her situation was crazy because she was going through a lot when I met her. She was at her lowest. And I brought her back up to her highest. And when she got to her highest, it's like you like, holding the dude down when he come home from jail. And as soon as he get back on his feet, he start doing his big one. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like almost like a situation like that. But she wasn't doing her big one. It was like she was just getting sneaky mm. and I you know I, I confronted her a few times and I told her like you know the type of person I am I'm not finna put up with you know what I'm not finna put up with so it's either you gonna you know what I'm saying be a hundred and be solid in the situation or I'm a deal right. and she just showed me that she wasn't a hundred she kept you know doing little you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. Remember I told you. But why was she doing that though? Was it something that Cause she remember wasn't doing? I remember I told you I bought her out, mm -hmm. and somebody else oh, came and bought me out. Uh, okay. So basically, I bought her out. I did everything it was that in my power to do, mm -hmm. which was more than enough. I'm God, mm -hmm. but somebody came in and showed her like, okay, he doing that, but and it wasn't even he did more than me. It was just because the thought of her knowing he had more. Than you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I did everything. She was a bird, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I did, bro, I did everything. Like, I lived, it was her birthday, bro. I spent like 120 mm -hmm. on her birthday weekend. Mm -hmm. We made it a whole week. I spent like 120 racks. Probably 125. Fuck that birthday. You just gave me that. No, I'm just saying. That's that's how, <laughs> that's how crazy it was. And guess what? I got all the footage. Mm -hmm. Like, so if I, with all my exes, I got my footage of everything that I did and how it came because it's just I keep it for memories like just to remember like to remind myself like damn boy you a good nigga so you can't sell I gotta see this footage after this video I can show it I gotta see this 
I can show you something now. What you want to see? You want to see the birthday? You want to see a random day? You want to see? I can show you some stuff that'll make you say, "Yeah, you was a really good dude." Mm -hmm. I I do. I was doing. I do the most thoughtful things when I learn you and I know what you like. I'm gonna always do something to put a smile on your face. Rather every week changing out the fly, uh, the flowers that I get you. You know, see, I'm gonna keep flowers coming in every week. I'm gonna I'm 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 get us stuff to improve ourselves. If I know like we both interested in self improvement, I'm gonna go get us a, a, a self improvement book and make sure we read it weekly. You know what I'm saying? If you okay. like, just just like it, everything from the smallest to the largest things. That's me. I'm coming like that. No, it was your turn. I just asked the question. That's why you were going like that. Oh, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, how, like, are you, are you like, like, it, it, do it, are you one of the people that take, like, long to fall in love, or is you, like, just like a, like, once you fall for a person, you fall in love? Like, I'm a cancer. We fall in love quick. Yeah, yeah. me too. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I be instantly in love. Like I can kick in with like it's like I ain't gonna lie. If you like, if I'm already attracted to you, if we have sex and the sex to match up with the energy, I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yo, yeah. Let's let's be together. It's giving it. That's you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I like that. I like that. You just ask questions because you know what to ask. No, this is this gonna be our little rough draft. We gonna I see. just be I just be wanting to know. Uh -huh. What kind of question <laughs> you got for me? I'm slick falling in love right now. Oh my! <laughs> what you got for me right now? Mm -hmm. So. Are you a 50-50 type of man? No. If I'm in a relationship with a woman, like, I'm going, that's why, that's why I'm skeptical about who I get in a relationship with, because I'm going to go all in. So if we got a crib and we got, I'm, you know, I'm covering all that. Like, I don't think that I'm going to make you pay the uh, bills in the crib. You can go get the groceries and shit like that. You feel me? Keep it clean. Get the this detergent and laundry, Good yeah. Answer. Like do that, cause I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to go to the grocery store. I don't have to get this detergent if I need to wash a shirt or something like mm -hmm. that, or like you know, minor stuff. You shouldn't like have to that. wash the shirt. Yeah, I don't want to have to deal with that kind of stuff. You want, but you like, want to take care of the man duties of the woman. Yeah, the, the the rent, the. I mean, you got to think about it. I'm already in my own space doing that. Mm -hmm. So if I. Put a woman in a space or if i'm in a space with a woman how am i going like i don't even understand what man will want a woman to bust down bills with her because if you're a man i'm all i've been on my you know what's crazy my bills right now is paid all the way to february mm -hmm. like my rent would be paid like six months out mm -hmm. when i'm renting a crib i'm paying my rent up six months so it's like, it'll be the same, especially if I'm in a relationship, it's gonna be the same thing. I'm gonna pay all that shit up. Like, we ain't gonna have to worry about bills. Right. My, my woman ain't gonna have to worry about bills. Good answer. You know what I'm saying? Good answer. No, that's just, that's just, that's just how it's supposed to That's what I'm saying, good answer. Because I don't fuck with niggas that do 50-50. I ain't doing no 50 But I don't, I don't. Because if I could do, if I gotta do 50-50, I could be by myself. Yeah, but I don't, I don't. Uh, you, know do what, you know what's crazy? When it even come down to 50-50, I look at that like, I don't look at a, 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 a percentage thing. Because like I say, as a man, when you on your shit, your woman ain't gonna need for nothing. When you got it and you on your shit, your woman ain't gonna need for nothing. But if you take a hit, then I feel like it's time for my woman to come step up. Right. Because it's like, babe, you ain't have to spend no money. So you should All have this, money. You should have so much money right now. We've been together for how long? A year, two years, you ain't pay a bill in two years. You should be up. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? I should be able to come and say, babe, give me 50000 so I can go and get back where I was just at. Right. So I don't, yeah. yeah. I, de what's up, Twan? I definitely don't want my woman to, you know what I'm saying? I want my woman to be, really be able to stack it up and, and put it up. Okay. 
But that's why you got to have the right woman. Because you don't want to be holding things down for a year, two years. You got to let her be. Yeah. You got to let her. Now she get up out of there. Like she got You know what I'm saying? So yeah. really, it's like at the end of the day, when you doing that, you just got to make sure you're doing that with the right person. Mm -hmm. And when I'm when I'm doing that, like the woman to let you know if she's solid because if she see you doing that, um, she going to make sure it's incentives in play in the relationship that's going to um, be bigger than just the bare necessities. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She going to do things outside of that, especially if she a boss. She going to do, do things way outside of, you know what I'm saying? Because it's going to be like, my nigga do everything he's supposed to do. So, yeah, I'm going to spoil my nigga too. Right. That give you a lot of room to spoil your man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my question. Do you spoil your man? Yeah, I'm a treat. Okay, yeah, I love that. Yeah, I'm a treat. I love that. Yeah, I, I like to, that. when I'm going out shopping, I like to, if I see something, I, oh, my nigga look good in this outfit. You know what's crazy about me? I don't even believe in going out shopping without getting my woman done. If I'm in a relationship, I you can't. You come in a motherfucking house with four, five bags, you ain't got nothing in it for me. I'm going to cut you out. I can't. I can't go in. Man, listen, when I'm with somebody and I'm in love, all I can think You're about is. lover boy. No, I'm cheating. <laughs> all I can think about is doing something for them. Yeah. That's so cute. I, that's all. It's like. I gotta catch myself because it'd be like every day I've been up be trying to do something for the person that I'm with. Well, you just must be a more grown experience. Cause I'm telling you, the last Sagittarius man that I was fucking with, he was he I mean he was very possessive and he was loyal. He ain't cheap, none of that shit. But then I couldn't get some flowers. I could well I did get like little cute little dates and shit. Oh like no, nah, I'm, I'm 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 I wanna I'm, walk in the house with candles lit and rose petals on the floor me. or something Can just I, on a regular Tuesday. If I show you that that I remember when I told no, you I, I got to see nothing about no other. No, 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 no. I'm saying that is like I'm really one of them. Like I love you, the romantic. I love doing stuff like that, <laughs> bro. Like I'm the type of person that I book us a flight somewhere and we'll be flying first class. And when we get on the plane, like we have a whole announcement made on the plane. Oh, the, 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 the 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 flight attendant might come from around the thing with flowers for you. Like I I go above and beyond. Like when it comes down to it, and it don't always be like the biggest things. It, it's It'd just the, the smallest things. Mm -hmm. Like I'm gonna always I'm gonna always do. Like I'm a lover, I, and and I want and I want to love. Like really, I really want to love really bad. Like I want to, but I want to love like. I want to love that because, you know, right now in this day and age, it's fucked up. Yeah. So I want to love that nobody can't come between. And it's like... Because this I, shit nowadays be breakable. Everybody can come between your mm -hmm. shit. That's why when you were telling you me... You talking about coming between as far as, like, a bitch getting in, in another female's ear, like, oh, well, he... Well, well, Every way. Oh, oh okay. uh, somebody getting in your ear. Mm -hmm. Another man. However, mm -hmm. your homegirl hating or another person hating yeah. or... A man, like, oh, I'm finna come. Oh, I can do way more than he doing. Uh, like, just period. Like, people nowadays, I feel like people think there there's so many options. You gotta understand, in 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 in, 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 a, in a average bad bitch DM, she probably got a billion dollars or more in her DM. In the average bitch DM, bro, it's a billion or better in her DM. Right, right about that. Bad bitch, yeah. it's a billion or better. If she got Floyd in her shit alone, that's a deal. <laughs> Gee. So imagine if she got Lil Baby, Future, this basketball player, that basketball player. Five, five, just five niggas could be a, 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 a bill. Yeah. So, like, how do you expect, okay, I might be worth 500000 right? So say I'm worth 500000 over here. I ain't saying that's what I'm worth, but I'm just saying, say that's what I'm worth. <laughs> <laughs> and even if I am worth 500000 hey, man, you know what? I came a long way from the goddamn projects. Yeah. yeah. But say I'm worth 500000 over here, and she got all this money in her DM, man, it's going to be, like, hard. It's hard, Okay, bro. but this is the thing, though. These Them niggas, they don't just be coming off shit right away. I mean, they do. But that's a fact. It, you got, it's too much that but come it's behind But it's not about them coming off of it. It's about the mentality of right. the girl's mind and knowing that I got access I to it. Say, so, why would a girl, why would a woman go over here to fuck with this nigga, this nigga, this nigga, and this nigga for them to do the, the shit that they gonna do? 
when she can just fuck with one nigga and he gonna do what he's supposed to do. I don't know. You gotta ask them that. I don't they, ask they them do, shit because that's they pussy. They do it every day. They do it every day. That's they fucking problem. They ain't gonna never find love because they're gonna be ran through. They're gonna be hit by every athlete, every rapper, every CEO, every. And woman, that's woman. what they and doing. The but you know what's wrong? But let me tell you something. By the time, but let me tell you something. You know what? Not meaning to cut you off. Them the ones getting pregnant from these guys. Wait. Them the ones getting put up by them. Wait. Like them. The, I know a bunch of. Oh my god! I just. <laughs> And I'll be like, she pregnant by who? She in a relationship with what? Man, listen, man, that, that, it, it, done been, it done been ones that I done said. But these, that, these bitches be having check babies. They don't have they don't have babies out of love. I know, or man. Love. I know, man. It's, maybe it's just the type that you're you're attracted to no maybe it's this a type that it's not even the type i'm attracted to baby girl because it's all it's all it's all the same nowadays damn oh man. well i can't relate i'm saying majority the majority and a lot of people always saying no it's not the majority i'm just saying let me just tell y'all something I'm you're be, in the industry look at the lifestyle you're in it's the majority no but can i tell you, you something not it, for everybody i'm gonna tell you something i like a beautiful woman period no shade to. But do the beautiful girl, woman gotta have her lips done? A beauty. That ain't what I. That ain't. That ain't uh, what. That uh, ain't. Hold on. Hold yeah. on. That ain't what I. First of all, my exes is natural. Any girl that I've been in love with, they natural, and if they ain't natural, they look natural. So what you want me for? Because I'm not natural. You look natural. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You don't look like you're not natural. You look natural, and then not just that. Your, 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 uh, your mindset and your personality is natural. Mm -hmm. You don't have an inflated BBL mindset. Mm -hmm. It ain't like you went and laid on the table and when they took it out your stomach and put it in your ass, they took it out your, your ass and put it in your brain. Right. Because a lot of these bitches go from their stomach to their ass, from their ass to their brain. And, <laughs> and now they think like they, <laughs> yeah, now they think like they shit don't stink. Right. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So. You ain't one of them. No, so I heard my for shit me, as soon as them motherfuckers knocked on that door. But <laughs> but for me, it's like I like a beautiful woman, and a lot of beautiful women nowadays got got the most ugly behavior. Unless she's not a beautiful woman, she's a bad bitch or whatever. I I don't know what they consider themselves bad bitch, beautiful woman. It's it's just it's just it's just a toxic world right now, and you know. I just all I like I said in the midst of this whole toxic world, I just want love. That's it. I just want love. I, That's why we trying to do these questions. But you so you so deep in it, you rambling, rambling, and you going. We supposed to be asking questions. Why we gotta ask all the questions? Why we just can't just love? <laughs> <laughs> Cause there's no way you can just jump into a okay. relationship with somebody and you don't no, even know right. each other and you don't know what's going on. Okay, so why you why you? you what's know? your biggest pet peeve? Cause I might do something that you don't like. My biggest pet peeve. Mm. Lying. lying is one of them. I would say lying and. Like a woman that's like super outside or super caught up. Mm -hmm. In a mix. Yeah, like too mixy, too like too mixy, too outside, too friend friend. Available. Yeah, too friend oriented. Mm -hmm. My friend want to go here now. Oh, I got my friend, my friend, a woman that always so my friend, my friend. Yeah. Yeah, that's my biggest nah. pet peeve. Mm -hmm. Cause it's like like look, I should be your best friend. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, and then. Who is all these friends? These friends, is, girl. See, that's why I have a. Cause if I call you and say, "Bail, um, my homegirl want me to go outside," and you like, "All right, go ahead." That's the wrong answer. I want you to tell me no. Sit the fuck down. Oh, that's You're not me all day. No like, why do you want to go out? Who is, so I can call my girls. And be like, based I can't go outside. I'm gonna say, who is the <laughs> I'll friend? Catch you later. Who is this friend? You know my friend. That is not your friend. No. <laughs> I'm. A, that's what I'm gonna say. I got the same three friends. But I'm gonna say, it's it's gonna say you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna call them friends. I'm gonna do a young and ace deed. You see that video of young and ace girl tried to go out? Uh -huh. That that man took some syringe wrap and wrapped her up in the plastic and set her on the couch. And her friend called. He answered the phone and say, "You need to go get a man. Where your man? Oh, yeah. Go get you a. <laughs> that's me. 
<laughs> What's your biggest pet peeve? Uh, public embarrassment and repeating myself. Mm. And you know what else I don't fucking like? What? I don't like toothpaste in the sink. <laughs> hate toothpaste in the sink. Oh I got, my I got, God. I got, I got OCD. And I'd hate when the to- the cap is not back on the toothpaste. I got OCD. I'm going to cuss you out every time. You ain't got to worry about that. I got every OCD. Time. But yeah, public embarrassment for sure and repeat myself. I, if I have to get on your ass about something, if we go out and it's some bitches in the second, little goofy holes, whatever, the, and you just being a little too friendly, and if I give you a look and you don't tighten up after that look, I'm leaving so the thing about me, if I'm out, if we out and this hoes group in, I'm the type of nigga like I, I'm involved. Oh, Twan is here. He seen me in the relationship. <laughs> Twan, how am I in the relationship, bro? Usually in the house with the girl. Thank you. <laughs> All right. When I was in the relationship. Okay, but there might be a time where I, I do want to go out because I do. I'm not saying I like to go out. That. I don't like to be out all the time, but. I want to go out sometimes. I want to smoke some hookah. I, I want to get some heat. I ain't going to stop you from going out. I'm talking about, I like to go out with my nigga. No, I'm saying. Like, I like to be with me, my nigga, and my homegirl. Hey, I like to show my baby girl off. Right. I like, what? My woman? Shh, hey, let's go. Sometimes you got to pop out and show nigga. Listen, babe, this is my whole thing. I'm a I'm a world traveler. I want a country hop every month or at least yeah. every other month. I can't wait to go out the country. So that's my right. whole thing. I want to be gone. And if we ain't out the country, and if you got to be in this country, then it's like we going to be finding a little goofy shit to do that nobody never did. Come on, babe. They got this little shit in Idaho where you, you know can go underground. I want to go to the escape room. I want to do the little act shit. I, it's Let's so much it. shit that I haven't been able to do because I was sitting down and I seen it all on the TV. I Let's wanna start tomorrow. Oh, you want to take me on a date? Hell yeah. If you going to let me take you on a date. I mean, if you let me take you on a date, I'll definitely take you. I want to do some fun shit. I don't want to do that, the average shit. We can go smoke hookah after the studio session. I don't smoke hookah, but I love that, like I'm saying, we could do the song, then go to the hookah lounge, make the DJ play here in the club. You can hit the hookah, kick it. We could do that, but I want to actually do something that requires some activity tomorrow. Right. You know what I'm saying? We can go have some fun tomorrow. I like your smile. So I want to do something where we could just smile a lot. Okay. I, I want to go skating too. Bus roller down. skating? I ain't, got I ain't roller skating in a while. Yeah, we go bust <laughs> our ass together. I ain't busting shit. I just went last week. You but might I hit the flow. Lie. I ain't hitting the flow. You got too much ass for it to bust anyway. <laughs> I ain't hitting the floor. I, I got to go down. You want to stand up one time? That's just a question for the, for the people. I'm crying. Come, come up, move up. Hold on, let me, let me adjust. Let me get this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> can, I, can, you, can I put my... Face in it. Yeah. No. Okay. It look like it smell good, too. It look like it smell like... It, it look like it got a natural... Like a good like natural shea smell. Like shea butter. Ooh. Shea butter, baby. Fucking up the elo. Okay, ask a question. Come on. You so are you, I, 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 ADHD. I, I, no, no, no. no you. Are you attracted to me? No, don't ask questions like that. I, you said we can ask any question. I did I, not say that. Yeah, you did. You, you said did 21 questions. It, 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 I can ask my question. Don't do me like that. Are you attracted to me? You got to answer. I want another question. I, are you attracted to me? That's the question. I mean, you could. You can't see that. You can't feel that you can't read the room yeah. i gotta answer it for you let's see attractive to me next question <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> sometimes you want to hear it tell me god damn it <laughs> Say, boy, you know, man, tell me god damn it <laughs> sometimes you just want to hear it you know? i want another question because that one was all right now that was that was, i was just messing around i wasn't messing around but i was messing around. right 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 <laughs> Mm, I got a question for you. Hmm. Are you religious? Like, is you a religious person or is like a spiritual person? Like, do you mm. believe in God? Like, how deep, deeply is God in my life? Like, yeah, how deep that God in you is? Okay, so. 
before I got locked up, I was I don't I wasn't really religious. I was more spiritual. Mm -hmm. Like you know I I don't even know how to explain being spiritual. But I like I go no, get I cleanses and I you know what I'm saying I just remove negative energy from my life. When I got locked up, I became religious, which is cliche as fuck. But I end up converting to being Muslim. Mm. Yeah. So um. And how how it happened was so my mom was Muslim, my sister, and both my kids are all they're all Muslim. So I didn't have time to do that because before I got locked up, I was dancing. You know what I'm saying? I was hustling. I was in the mm -hmm. streets. Like I was just, I felt like I couldn't, come like give my life to God when I was doing all that, and I wasn't ready to give it up. So when I got locked up, you know, I had time to sit down and learn, and you know, learn by myself, and you know, so I ended up giving my life to God. I'm listening. Go ahead. I am giving myself to a lot. I mm -hmm. did my uh, shahada and all that stuff. You yeah, I mean, I you gotta, I haven't you gotta pray for five times a day. Five, you're supposed to pray five times a day. That's a lot. Yeah. No, no shade, no shade to no Muslim people at night. It's a lot. It's well, a that's lot. a lot of praying up five times a day. That's a lot. And, and y'all don't get in no comments talking about that's not a lot of praying five. Y'all know y'all ain't praying <laughs> them five times a day. Oh, so listen, it's literally I know maybe like a handful of Muslims that make sure they pray five times a day. Right. Like it's a lot of. People be talking about Muslims because they don't really be doing what they supposed to be doing. Like, we, we be fucking up. That's the same thing with Christians. Right. I don't think there's anybody that's just walking the straight path and not doing anything wrong yeah. at all. They're not sinning. It's, I don't believe it. But um, I could be better. I could be more religious. But I know I'm rocking with Allah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Listen, Allah, God, Jesus, Elijah... Who the hell is Elijah? Whoever, I'm saying whoever, whatever name a person want to refer to God as, uh, uh, Joshua, Jaja, Zeus, <laughs> whatever you name your God, it don't matter. I don't care. No, long as you, God. no, I'm just saying. I say that. What I, I say that meaning, long as you serving God. Right. To me, to me, I'm not religious. Mm -hmm. So anybody title, whatever everybody title to they, to God. It's all the same God to me. Mm -hmm. We are all us to me is serving the same God. Mm -hmm. A Christian might think he's serving this person. A, a Buddhist might think he's serving. Man, we all serve to me. We all serving the same God, the same Creator. So I just don't carry the religion because I just feel like, partially because how you say, I know in practicing religion, I was never a hundred percent walking a straight line of what. The rules and regulations of religion was. Mm -hmm. Then when I started doing my studies and my research, I started to understand and notice to me, no shade to nobody religion, that God is bigger than religion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So much more bigger than religious and so much more bigger than even the books that our uh, religious practices causes us to uh, live under the circumstances and conditions of. So when I peeped that, I was like, you know what? I just serve God every day. I just get up every day. Mm -hmm. I pray. I talk to God. I put God first in my life. Mm -hmm. And and even when I pray, I don't even ask for nothing. Yeah. I, my prayers just be thanking God. I just yeah. be like, thank but you. But I God. just, that's why I feel like I, I, I mess with being Muslim more than I did Christian because literally in the Quran, it just talks about not being perfect. Like, you don't have to be perfect. Like, you pray for forgiveness. You pray for the sins that you committed. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you miss a prayer, make it up when you have time. Like it's just it's being Muslim. Yeah. Or Islam is just about knowing that you're not perfect and mm. it's okay to mess up as long as you come to to God and ask for forgiveness. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, but you, you know, you know, Christians and all that they oh, yeah, you didn't yeah. come to church. Uh, they're just very Christians act like they never sinned. Right. Cause my mama, ooh. I love you, mama. Y'all ain't finna, y'all did not say nothing to me about my mama because they love my mama. But boy, that lady act like she never seen in her life. And it's like, ma, cut it out. I know you used to smoke the peach pipe, lady, back in your days. I know you used to pop that cat back in them days. You got too oh many kids. God. You better stop it. How many kids you want? My mama got six kids, three oh, different baby daddies. How many, how many kids you want? I want like two or three. That's it. I only want like two or three. Mm -hmm. yeah, Biological or adopted? I mean, for me, okay, I'm, I'm going to be vulnerable and tell you something. For me, the only way that I can have children is if I go get an IVF. Mm. 
because my sperm ain't strong enough to swim inside of the egg to create the baby. Mm -hmm. But it's strong enough to create the baby. Maybe you should change your diet. I mean, I've talked to the doctor before, and they told me that's how I was born. Oh, okay. So, I would have to do that. So what I would But you know, the doctors would be wrong. No, you but know, no, if you no. tried like an all natural, raw, like vegan, like something, you know what I'm saying? No, definitely. It's some shit. We'll we'll look it up. No, but that's it's what I'm saying. You when can it, change some shit. When it's time to, when it's time to meet a person to have a baby, of course, then I'm I'm gonna dig into that because I will I will go back to the doctor with the person. We, you know what I'm saying? Do mm -hmm. the do the whole shit, the whole shit. You will see what they told me. You will get my paperwork. You will see what's going on, and then we'll figure out what, what way we want to go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely want uh, children, whether if it's adopted or whether if the children is mine or whether if they just stepchildren. Mm -hmm. that, that but that's what mine. I meant when I said adopted. Like, no, definitely. Step like, I love kids. Mm -hmm. Like, I love kids. Like, and I love, <laughs> no, this is real. Like, this is not even no joke. I seen, I can show you a video. I, I was doing a video at the mall today and I seen this lady walk in with this baby and I seen the little girl and I was like, oh my God, you're, this, this child is so adorable. Cause the, the little girl walked, when they walked in, the little girl was like, hi. I almost cried. Aww. Like, oh my God, she said hi to me. <laughs> so I the lady, I was like, oh, she's so adorable. And I was like, can I make a little video, please? The lady was like, yeah, cause she knew who I was. So she was geeked anyway. So she was like, yeah, you can make a video. And I made the video, and the little girl was just so adorable. And I just, I left out of there like, dang, boy, I gotta, I gotta give me some kids, man. Give me a little wife, give me some kids. You feel me? I'm gonna be the, be I'm, cause I know I'm gonna be the best dad in the world. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. And that's rather if it's to, to, to adopt the children or, you know, my own children. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna treat them the same. That's what's up. So that's why I don't mind being with somebody with kids. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I just like respectable kids. Yeah. I, I don't like like disrespectful kids. Right. You know what I'm saying? And if they is disrespectful, you know, you got to let me do, you got to let me, if I'm going to be your man, you got to let me put my foot down. Because yeah. if I'm your man and you got these disrespectful kids, I'm not going to tolerate that. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to have to be, you know, a father figure to the That's you not gotta, even a topic that we have to discuss. Why? I don't have disrespectful kids. My kids got manners. They know how to act. So you guys let me adopt your kids? <laughs> 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 Y'all don't know how to act. 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 Y'all I love you. I do. Mm -hmm. You don't love me. Man, why, why can't you, you love, love me? You love the idea of me. You don't no, even know me. On, you don't girl. even know me. Let me tell you something. What? I don't got to personally know everything about you to love you. Mm -hmm. I could just love you because you're a beautiful black queen in the world where the odds are stacked against you. And you're doing everything in your power to, to, to live and succeed mm -hmm. and not get played. And be a good person. You try your best to be the best version of yourself that you can be. Mm -hmm. And I love you for that. So why I can't love you? Why I can't tell you I love you? I feel like if I if we told more people that we love them instead of other things, then you know what I'm saying, maybe people could be more happy and feel more appreciated and believe in themselves a little bit more. That is true. So I love That's you. That's true. Don't take my love away. I didn't say I'm in love. All mm -hmm. I said was I love you. You know what I love me? Mm-hmm. You know the definition of love? What's the, yeah, what's the definition of love? The definition of love is... Accepting someone for who they are without trying to change them. No. That's that's your definition, which is a good definition. Mm -hmm. I like your definition. My definition of love is living off vulnerable emotions. Mm -hmm. But the Webster definition of love is um, a deep, intense feeling of affection for someone. So you have a deep, intense feeling of affection for me. Exactly. Mm. And yeah, so sometimes we overthink love. Yeah. Like, if you really think about it, love is just an intense But we feeling. overthink it because of the people that are involved in the situation. No, we overthink it because of 
society. This, the, 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 exactly. That, That's that why too. I just said the people. No, who but the wolves, the, the wolves that came in sheep clothing. That too. Because my mm -hmm. baby daddy was a motherfucker. The, the, wolf, ones that, the ones that came in and told us they love us but made us feel nothing but pain. <laughs> Boy. That's why, hey, that's why no matter what, nobody say about Ja Rule, I will always love Ja Rule for that Love is Pain album, boy. <laughs> that Love is Pain album, boy, Ja Rule sitting, let me tell you about the Lost Ones, baby. You look funny as hell. We look good together, though. Ask me a question. Make you good. I'm trying to think. Because you want to talk about we both to stick to asking questions, but you won't be asking no questions. I am asking questions. What are you talking about? All right, give me I'm a good question, question right now. Um, do you like threesomes? Whew, I ain't going to lie. You know what's crazy? When I be in love, I don't be wanting to share mine with a girl. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm straight. <laughs> I'm good. Good like, answer. Because I'm, I'm very territorial. Like, I don't want to... If I'm in love okay, with you... Okay, so, but what if... Okay, so I'm, If you want to do it... I, mean, I like women. So, that's what I'm saying. I'm if you want to do it, I'll do it. Okay, but what if I just want to fuck the girl? Oh, hell no. You can't just sit in the corner and watch or something? You don't want to do that? Hell no, because now you're making me feel like you like women more than me. And now I'm feeling like you like her more than you like me? What, you don't want me in... You don't want me involved? Like, what's wrong with you? Girl, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you acting like a, a stud. Oh, I'm crying. What's wrong with you? It's already bad enough I don't want to share you with this girl. And then you, I, I'm already saying, all right, we can do the threesome. You feel me? And then I don't like doing threesomes too because the BG not with somebody I'm in a relationship with because I'm going to, I don't care if I'm hitting you or her. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, show out. I'm oh, doing my yeah, big no. one. Mm -mm. I'm finna hit that washing machine real good. I'm going. I'm washing the clothes. <laughs> then I'm gonna put it in that drive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gonna be looking at me like, wait, that's the move you nah, be doing. No and way. you gonna look but like, oh, that's that move that, that. You're not supposed to do that, babe. If I'm hitting, I'm hitting. No, I that's don't know not how, how to not works. hit. See, so you fuck every bitch like she your bitch. No. No. That's what you just said. No, 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 no. I said I don't know how to not hit. I don't. If, if I fuck a girl like she my bitch, I'm eating everything from head to toe. I'm not going to eat everything from head to toe in a threesome. I right. said I'm just hitting. So I'm just going to hit. But you don't stroke a bitch. How and I'm hitting her with a rubber. Right. But what I'm saying, you because don't stroke I'm, a female how you would stroke somebody that you in a relationship with. You don't do that. And then another thing with the threesome is... I'm skeptical about that because I don't want to bring somebody in that ain't like that. I don't know what they what they come with. Who said you was gonna pick them? But I, you gonna you must be. They must be coming with paperwork. Duh. Long as they coming correct, because I, I let me tell you something about me, baby girl. I come with up to date paperwork. Can I tell you something? I don't like being called baby girl. Babe. Don't call me baby, but we're not together. I'm not sure out for these people. You know how to let me know that there ain't nothing serious going on between me and you. I thought, I thought, I, I, all this back and forth we was doing, I thought we was on the stuff. We was and, you, and you just took me all the way back to the beginning no, no, of the no, no, video. No, 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 don't call me, babe. Don't call me, babe, because we not together. Yeah, we. it's, it's premature. Okay, beautiful. Gorgeous. Yeah. I don't like being called baby girl. I don't like being called sweetheart. I feel like that it's, it's a funny... Well, I don't, I don't do the sweetheart, baby girl. Is like that's like I lingo, Miami lingo, like baby girl, little mama, like stuff oh, like that. That's how. That what I'm saying. That's that's a part of lingo. It ain't like that. That's not the offend or be funny. It's just like. No, I'm not saying that you was trying. So I'm just telling you my preference. I don't like it. And you ain't gonna have to tell me again because I know your one of your pet peeves is not having to say it again. <laughs> so I don't want you to have to repeat yourself. Thank you. Okay, question. I'm fucked up about you. Are you? I am. <laughs> Come out with your hand. Please. Ask a question. I don't like this. I like oh, this. you want lock fingers? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucked up about you. Bad. This is crazy. Come on, ask a question. 
Okay. Um, this is going to be my last. This is our last question because we got Twan here. I know Twan ready to work. Okay. We in the studio, by the way, y'all. And I just want y'all to know that um, she got a podcast coming. Y'all, we ain't even do no intro to this video or nothing. Uh-uh. We'll, we'll record the intro after we finish this. We'll do a little quick intro. But my question is, can I have a fair chance? What's a fair chance? It's like a fair chance. Can you, like, postpone any other thing? Let that you, you take got? me on a date and all that yeah, stuff? Can you postpone anything else you got going on and give me a chance mm -hmm. to show you that I'm authentic? How long is it? How long is it gonna take for you to show me that you're authentic? I'm showing you right now, instantly, baby. Mm. I come in that way. Mm. What you see is what I am. I ain't, I ain't lie to you, man. I'm talking about nothing. I ain't coming to you faking. I ain't. Acting you might not like, have no hoes, cause your phone ain't yeah. ring the whole time we've been together. We've been together about an hour. Damn one on, and I got two on. Damn one on, it's, 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 it's dry. I ain't got nothing going on. Like I, like I ain't taking nobody serious. I'm really, I'm really in grind mode right now. I ain't, I ain't really like. These girls ain't about like there ain't no ain't nobody ain't too many people about nothing. Mm -hmm. They ain't. Just being honest, the time man, it got bad. You feel me? We going to twenty twenty five new president. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's so many more important things to be doing than out here chasing these. Let me not disrespect none of these women, but right. you know what I'm saying. It's so many more important things I can do mm -hmm. for myself. I wanna I wanna. Find somebody that I can go on dates over and over with. And not get tired of them. Exactly. Mm. I, I could break their virginity in every what? different <laughs> aspect and genre of life. No, when I say that, like, basically doing things with them that they ain't never did. And they could break my virginity to certain things. I could break theirs to certain foods, to certain places, mm -hmm. to f different mindsets, to different books, mm -hmm. to different movies, documentaries, quotes. All type of stuff. Alright, it's eight o'clock. Eight ten. Eight ten. She was the most viralist inmate, female inmate in the world. <laughs> um and you know, we just had we just had we just did a twenty one questions. But she got a podcast coming up soon, music dropping, like a whole lot of great things, entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. real estate. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. But right here, we was just talking about 21 questions, bro. We're going to do a lot of work together, right? Mm -hmm. So you going to let me interview you on your podcast? Yeah. So I'm going to interview her on her that podcast. That's hilarious, bro. And, and that <laughs> I part, know you keep going to ask it's been a, all the little juicy-ass prison questions. Uh, of course. Oh, my God. Man, every time I get on live, they ask it all kinds of just random questions. I said, I can't wait to do my interview. Oh man, this is gonna be crazy. And it's gonna be nothing about who else. Who else? <laughs> y'all know and y'all know I get a little messy too. Oh my So y'all know I'm gonna get down and dirty, but uh y'all can enjoy this 21 questions box. Let me kiss. What? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs>